Jeez. Hey y'all, welcome back to Wild and Outdoors. So shed season is already come and gone. Uh, that's past us and uh, turkey season is right around the corner. So I really just wanted to try something a little different this year for turkeys. And I'm always used to using a shotgun, but unfortunately I had to sell my shotgun because I needed a better deer hunting rifle. And I went ahead and bought the 6.5 Creedmoor, which can't really say I regret doing that. But um, a shotgun would have been nice this year to use for turkeys. And I know I could borrow one from one of my buddies if I wanted to, but I love bow hunting. It's more of a challenge and I just think it's a lot more fun. So as far as I know, there's two different kind of broadheads that you can use for turkeys. Um, you can use the turkey hybrids. So like a mix between fixed and mechanical. So um, I looked into those a little bit, but I also ran into decapitating uh, turkeys. So that's the option that I decided to go with is the decapitation method. And I went ahead and bought a pack and right out of the box. So you get like a black case like this. Um, they're Sinvatec broadheads. Um, come in a case like this and come with some nice padding here on the inside. And you get three of them. So right out of the box, in my opinion, I think they're by far the sharpest broadheads I've ever bought right out of the box. Um, so tip to tip um lengthwise like right here sorry um right here is four inches and each blade is about i think it was an inch and seven eighths yeah an inch and seven eighths so that that kind of makes up for the four inches um tip to tip and i've looked at a lot of videos on decapitating broadheads and i just really think it's something i want to try this year so these are made in china but for being made in China, they're a really good quality broadhead. Um, blades don't really bend that easily. Um, everything's intact. Nothing you can see is just slid through the middle. It's all connected straight to the middle, one solid piece of steel. So I really think that these are going to do good this year. Uh, I don't really know how far I'd be comfortable shooting out. Um, but the bow I'm using this year um, is going to be my... Um, deer hunting bow but i've thought about doing a little like buying a different bow um but i'm not sure because this one does me good as it is so this is my hoyt my carbon element and i bought these for deer hunting season i don't know if i should take those off for turkey or not uh, we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it and uh the string obviously went out with the orange string and orange fletching on the arrows and america's best bow strings Super good, best on the market. Um, highly recommend buying America's Best Bowstrings, which is what I rigged this up with, and because uh, it is it is very durable by far. Um, so that's what I'm running right now, and I have a Tacticam on the end, so we can get another angle of the kill shot if one happens to come in. So we're gonna go ahead and take out one of these broadheads and see what it does outside. And uh, I obviously don't have a, have a turkey head to try out, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a banana, and probably the closest thing I can get to a turkey head. So, uh, well, with the neck-wise anyway. But we're going to go ahead and take this outside and see what it does. All right, y'all. So we have the broadhead on there. If I didn't mention before, this is a Sinbatec broadhead, uh, and it's about $25 uh, for a pack of three. So I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to go check them out. And uh, we have the banana set up down there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a shot and see what it does. So I did end up hitting the banana and uh, broadhead went in the target. Uh, so now I'm stuck with a two bladed decapitating broadhead, which I obviously will not use. For being made in China, they're a really good quality broadhead. Psych a lot! But it's accurate. 
I mean, it flies just like a field point. Hit hit where I was aiming, hit it straight on. And uh, I don't know. I mean, did good damage. But I don't know if it was the target um, that made it break. Maybe it was too hard. I don't know. Maybe it was from when I just pulled out the broadhead. It, there's a lot of different things to factor into it. Or maybe it's just because it's straight from homegrown China. Um, but as far as... As far as what I recommend it, I would, but the braid, the blades, some of the some of the blades break, and I don't know. Maybe it was just this broadhead. Maybe the others two don't do that. There's bus. There's a there's a bunch of different things that factor into it. Um, I know Magnus, I think is the name. They're like the leading decapitating broadhead, so I might try them out and see what they do. Um, but as far as right now goes, I'm probably going to use them because if I do get a shot off at a turkey and I kill it I really don't care if the uh, yeah I just don't care if the blades break or not so uh as long as I get the turkey so I would recommend but just be wary on the uh durability of the blades if they ha hit something hard behind it so uh but yeah that's the that's the gist of the Cinebatech decapitating broadheads so let me know what you guys use for turkeys, if you guys bow hunt turkeys. Let me know what you guys use and what you guys are hitting with the hitting those turkeys with because I sure could use some advice. Because I am new to this, so but this is just an unbiased, completely raw video of an unboxing of these broadheads. But again, let me know what you guys use and uh, we'll see you in the next video, hopefully in southern indiana with the turkey down so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode